regularly being asked on the channel about what routines are best to improve brake building. Well, there are many that, you know, there is benefit to any routine. But the black is the highest value color on the table. So any work that you can do around this area has got to be beneficial in terms of amassing points. One little practice that I, I like to do here, I've got the black on its spot and I've got three reds in a line here between the centre pocket and the corner pocket. I put a little mark on the table as to where I want the cue ball. Okay, and the idea is to pot the black, come off the cushion into this area in such a way that I'd be happy to pot this red and get back on the black. Now, I'm often asked, if I miss the pot, or indeed I miss position, do I just let it go or do I replace the ball and have another go? Well, nine times out of ten, it's generally best to replace the ball. You learn this game a lot through trial and error. So if you miss the pot, okay, that's one thing. Maybe you need to examine your technique. But if you miss position and get the pot, Bearing in mind that the pot is always the priority. Yeah, you, give, you miss the position and just set it up again and just make some adjustment. To it. it might be in the strength of the shot you use, a little less topspin or a little bit more stun. You know, trial and error will teach you. So let's just give it a go. So I've got the mark on the table. I'm going to try and pot the black, come off the cushion, play for this red. Now there, okay, I've potted the black, happy with that. But equally, I, I'm, I'm on the red, but I have to pot the red and go up for the blue or a bought colour. I want to stay down here for the black. So, set it up again and have another go. Now just to save me walking around to fetch the black all the time, I'll use another ball. Now this time, a lot happier. I can pot the red, follow through, and get on the black. So I'll just get rid of that one. Back to the mark, pot the black. Now I'm going to try and get position on this one. So on this one, it's probably just a little less stun. I haven't actually learned from my first mistake. Yeah, I've still got a little bit too much stun on. So let's have another go. This time much better. Right, I'm on the red, it's perfect to get back on the black. And this one, the last one, I still want to be this side. So again, a little less stun. And this time again, I'm on the red perfect. Now, the next uh, practice from there was let's take it to the other side. So we'll take the three reds again, send a pocket to the corner pocket. I'm going to use the same mark. This time we're following through as opposed to stunning. So top spin, maybe on the first one, just a little bit of left hand side. Quite happy with that, I'm on the red. So use the red as a black. Now the second one. This time I don't need any side, it's just top spin. In some regard to the pace of the shot. Okay with that one. And the final one, 
Just top spin again, not too much. And there we are, the exercise is completed. Now obviously the pot is the priority. You miss the pot, might be time to examine your technique. You miss position and just trial and error, getting used to up and down on the cue ball, little dabs of side, etc. Any work at all that you do around this side, this, this area, got to be beneficial to your brake building. Now once you've done this practice from this side of the table, don't forget, it's, it's very easy to, de to develop a preference for one side of the table. Please don't do that. Set it up again and work from the other side of the table. Very, very important. Good luck with that practice.